Good morning, welcome to The Great Yancy. Today I'm doing a different sort of video about, I'm gonna do an unboxing of something I bought to be, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Unbox a thing I bought. So what I got was a brand new backpack. I am going to Europe this summer for five weeks and I want to pack carry-on only. And during our trip to Leavenworth last week, I was like not pleased with my current backpack. This is my current backpack. It, I got it from Costco like years ago. It's been a while. I've had this through like three laptops. It's got the laptop pocket in the back, which is really nice. Um, and then it's got some space in the middle and a little, yeah, if you take my camera charger out of there, it would not be good if I misplaced that. Um, it's got a thing on the front. It's got a nice, a lot of nice little pockets, but it's also kind of impractical and hard to pack. And there are some issues I have with it in general. Like this thing on the front here can be a huge pain if you actually try to put anything in it. Cause then it's just this big lump on the front of the backpack. It's still very nice. And I'm probably going to give it to Prairie cause it's got a back of uh, the thing in which you put your computer when you're out and about with a laptop, but it is no longer going to be my laptop. I have ordered a new one from Amazon and it showed up yesterday, but I was so busy yesterday. I had absolutely no time. I thought about opening it. So I like slid the tape on the top, but then I was like, nah, I don't want to open it when I have like literally five minutes to look at it. I want to open it when I can film an unboxing video. <laughs> this is it. And I'm showing you this side so you don't see my address. It's like a giant, giant box. Um, so we're gonna open this. Oh, come on. Here we go. It's not very heavy though. Like, it's pretty light. I should have grabbed scissors, but I didn't. Whee! Oh, come on. There we go. The box is open. So what I got, I got the Osprey Fairpoint 40, carry-on size back. And this is it. It's in a plastic bag. It's, I got forest green color, cause like they only had two color options. It was olive gray or forest green. And like half of the negative reviews were because people hated the color of the forest green when they actually got it. Gansy's playing with the packaging back there. It's cute. My cute boy. So I've got this here. I'm gonna take it out of the bag to see what it looks like. So I researched backpacks for about 24 hours before deciding on this one. And you know, I felt a little bit unsure, but I also really wanted to buy it. But uh, I've listened to a lot of podcasts and stuff about minimalist travel and um, traveling for multiple weeks. And this backpack was like, in the top three of every single podcast or book I've listened to since I ordered it. So I feel pretty good about getting it. It feels cool. I like the color. He's a cute boy. Um, Osprey. This tag, I'm gonna leave the tags on it in case I hate it. One thing that I like about this backpack is I could get it in a um, size for me. It's This is the Fairpoint, so it's their female view version of the Farview. No, this is Fairview, female version of the Farpoint, which is one of their most popular, and it's an eight plastic, most popular um, backpacks that they sell, that Osprey sells and that people are always talking about. Supposedly the back is, um, will fit better for me being a girl and me being a short person, seeing as I am less than five feet tall and I am not, I am not tall, um, should hopefully fit well. It's got these compression straps on the front so you can compress it down after you filled it up if you don't fill up the whole thing. Um, water puddle things on the front too that you can put stuff in. And let's open it, I guess undo these. Perhaps, I don't know. I don't know how it works, I undo those. And unzip it. So yeah, you do have to undo these compression straps in order to unzip it. And it unzips to there, but there's a second zipper. So there's a front pocket. There's a front pocket here. And put stuff in it. Is this like, 
feel like this is a laptop sleeve, maybe? It's a sleeve back here. Stuff can go in. My laptop's uploading a video right now or else I would try it. Um, yeah, that's a big pocket <laughs> in the front. Gans, you are not the star right now. You aren't the star right now, Gans. You're not the star. No, you are the star. I'm sorry. You are the star. It is your channel. I'll zip that up. So that's the laptop sleeve. Oh, it's got another pocket here that you can unzip that's covered up, which is kind of nice, so. Wow. It's a nice size pocket in there that you can put stuff in. Put like, I don't know what I, I don't know. I'm gonna put stuff in it. It's gonna get stuff put in it. Probably easier access stuff. Maybe I'll put like my liquids in there because those are of zero value and they like, you need to take those out at the airport. And now I'm gonna unzip big zipper. Whoa. Intense. There's a shoulder strap, I think. Interesting. And it opens up like all the way like this. My son is having fun in the box. If you try to eat that tape, Gans will have to take it away. Don't eat the tape. He loves to eat tape. So it opens all the way up like this, which is kind of cool. And then it can like lay flat so you can pack it in here flatly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop him from eating tape real quick. It opens all the way and there are compression straps in here so you can fit them over like your packing cubes and stuff you put in. Um, I'm bad at filming this. <laughs> you can pull it tight and then it doesn't move unless you loosen it. So it'll stay tight, but then if you loosen it, it loosens, which I guess is how straps work in things. But yeah, so that's cool. And it looks pretty spacious. I'm gonna, I need to order packing cubes, so I'm gonna measure it and see what sort of packing cubes I should get for putting in here. And now I'm gonna try it on. Oh, before I try it on, there's one more cool thing about this bag. Cause I was just like, how am I gonna put this on? There's only this little shoulder strap thing. But it's because it zipped within here, the straps. So like if you're getting on the airplane um, and you don't want the straps to get caught up and stuff if you're shoving it under the seat or in the overhead bin, it turns into a duffel bag with either a handle on top or this handle on the side. Um, so like I imagine like if I'm sitting there, you know, waiting for my flight to board, I can zip up the straps after I've done the majority of carrying it and then just carry it onto the plane by the handle. So this unzips like this and reveals the actual back of the backpack, which is the harness, which might take some adjusting, but yeah, that's cool. And then this thing supposedly folds up and can, interesting, there's a thing. I think, I guess you can put your ID in that. There's a, oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna say I'm a cat owner and these little black sections of the backpack down here are covered in Gansey's hair already. I'm gonna figure out how this goes on and then I will come back and continue filming me wearing the Fairview 40. I think I've got this all figured out. The um, back cover folds in and Velcros on the bottom of the pack and it's on. I'm sure it's gonna need some adjustments, but it's got the waist strap and the back track stuff. It feels nice though. I mean, you know, with nothing in it. It feels lighter than my blue backpack though. Even just like empty compared to that empty. This lovely things too, I guess. Around your waist. And then this can go up here. It feels secure. It feels nice. I'm sure I'm gonna do more adjustments, but here's how it looks on its tags. It feels comfortable. It feels like it fits me way better than this backpack does, which, I mean, this one's fine, but after running through multiple airports with this thing on my back and not even stuffed with, you know, five weeks worth of luggage, it's 
it's pretty a pain. It bounces a lot and it, yeah, it, I feel like this waist strap thing is going to be super helpful for carrying it between Airbnbs and up to camp and all the things, oh my gosh, the crazy things I'm doing in Europe this summer. Like, you would have told me this five years ago, I would have never believed you that I was going to Europe the summer that I turned 24. I'm so excited. But this feels really cool. Yeah, I love this. It's like, yeah, turn around fully so you can see it on the back and this side, fully modeling the backpack. And I guess it has the shoulder strap so you can, when it's in duffel bag mode, you might be able to use this. We're gonna have to figure out what the shoulder strap is for. <laughs> Gamzy likes the box. He's sitting in it very proudly. So I guess this is the end of my unboxing um, of my new Fairview backpack. I guess, yeah, the straps are undone. Those will generally be buckled in the back once I have it all together. Oh, I really like this. I am super happy. I'm gonna test it out with like, put some weight in it and carry it around. Um, and I'm sure you guys will see more of and hear more about this backpack as I continue getting closer to my trip to Europe this summer. And in case you haven't heard about it, I think I talked about it on the podcast a little bit. I'm going on a missions trip with our church to the Czech Republic. And then I'm spending three weeks between Czech Republic and France with my good friend Kellen, who you've seen before, and we're going to be doing all sorts of fun stuff. So there's gonna be awesome vlogs. I'm hoping to like be daily vlogging in the more vacation part of the trip. And then uh, I'll be posting a lot of posts on my blog as well. Podcast will be on hiatus, but um, yeah. So thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. And I guess the first trip I'm going to be taking this backpack on, assuming that I continue liking it and don't return it, which I don't think I'm going to. I love it so far. We'll be to Montana very soon to visit our good friends Martin and Annika. So stay tuned if you want to see what that's going to be like. It's going to be great. Uh, thanks for watching one more time, and I will see you soonish. Goodbye. Can say goodbye too. Can's a good one. He's so soft. <laughs>